Welcome to this streaming edition of Denver 7 News. I'm Jacqueline Allen. Thank you for joining us tonight. And I'm Russell Haythorn in for Jason Grenauer. Today, Denver police are trying to untangle what led up to a deadly shooting at a protest downtown yesterday. Groups opposed to the Black Lives Matter movement had a tense standoff with left-wing counter-protesters. As the demonstrations began to wrap up, a single gunshot was fired. Now, this man, Matthew Dolliff, is in custody. He was hired by Nine News to protect its staff at the protest, but Denver 7 has now confirmed the city says he was not licensed to be a security card here in Denver, so he was violating the law. Denver 7's Sloan Dickey takes a look at the confrontation that just in seconds turned deadly. Photos showing the intense moments as an armed security guard shot a protester following opposing rallies in downtown Denver on Saturday. The shooter, identified as 30-year-old Matthew Doloff, is an employee of Pinkerton Security. He was hired by Denver's Nine News to protect reporters while covering the rallies. The victim, confirmed by family as 49-year-old Lee Keltner, is seen in the photos discharging pepper spray. But is that enough to warrant being shot? Getting pepper sprayed is not serious bodily injury. You're not allowed to kill someone because they pepper spray you. Doloff was arrested on Saturday and is charged with murder. Ultimately, the only real question is, was he in reasonable fear of imminent serious bodily injury or death? And as I've said, what I've seen so far, pepper spray certainly does not put you in fear of serious bodily injuries. According to the Denver Department of Excise and Licensing, Doloff was not licensed to be a security guard and never has been. According to Denver City documents, a license and endorsement are both required for plainclothes security guards. Regardless, the same rules apply to everyone using deadly force. If you are in reasonable fear of imminent serious bodily injury or death, you can use deadly force. And every one of those words has legal significance. And there are still questions yet to be answered. The deceased took a swing at this guy first. Um, you know, it's kind of analogous to a bar fight. It could be second degree, it could be manslaughter, could be self-defense if the deceased had a gun and, and the, the shooter reasonably thought he was reaching for it. The shooter is expected in court on Monday. Sloan Dickey. Denver 7. Thanks, Sloan. Denver police say there were rumors circulating the suspected shooter was affiliated with the group involved in the demonstrations. Officers say they are unaware of whether the suspect was personally involved with any political movement. Right now.